A high school football player was shot and killed this week in Knoxville, Tennessee, in a spasm of violence. As David Begno reports, the teenager died a hero. Zenobia Dobson is preparing to bury her 15-year-old son, Xavion. He was her baby. Police say he was shot dead by gang members in Knoxville, Tennessee, while trying to shield three young girls from gunfire. It was an honor for my son to protect another individual. Xavion's brother, Zach, was there when it happened. I picked him up and I set him on my arms. I was shaking him. I, love him. I was shaking him. I was like, I love you. Wake up. I need you. Wake up. Two of the teenage girls who Xavion Dobson shielded from bullets have called the high school football standout a hero. If it wasn't for Xavion, if me or her would have probably been shot. I have a military background. Um, that, that's the actions of, of, of heroes. David yeah. Roush is Knoxville's police chief. He says Xavion was caught in the crossfire of rival gangs. Roush says one of the gang members who shot at Xavion was Brandon Perry. A group of men shot at Brandon Perry's home and Brandon Perry went to retaliate. And in retaliating, he shot this football star. That's, that's absolutely correct. Yeah, that's exactly what we know at this point. The chief says Perry ended up being shot and killed by a rival gang less than three hours after he shot at Xavion. This weekend at a candlelight vigil, classmates honored the sophomore who grew up in a high crime area of Knoxville and became the football player with star potential. Rob Black was his coach. Well, a great kid, a guy that, uh, worked harder than anybody it seemed like and a guy that made the right choices and that gave him a chance you know to be successful and he is a success story. As Xavion's family and his football team prepare to bury him the day after Christmas, Knoxville police are still actively looking for three more gang members they say are suspects. That's because police believe in total five gang members all fired randomly at Xavion and the teenagers who were around him. Jim, those three young girls who Xavion shielded were not hurt. David Begno with the heartbreak in Knoxville. Thank you.